Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to show how to test environment variables using PyTest. Uh, and I'm gonna show you three different ways to do this. Sure, that sounds about good. Uh, anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so in order to make an example of this, what are we gonna do, print a username? Sure, that seems fine. Uh, I'm gonna make a file and this is going to, I'm gonna put the tests and the code directly in this file, but usually you would separate them out into two separate files. And we're gonna be working with environment variables, so things inside os.environ, so I'm gonna import os. And let's make a greet function, which takes, well, normally I would make the greet function take a string username, but in this case, we're gonna, we're gonna source that directly from the environment. Um, and so we're gonna use os.environ user. Now, I would also, caution against using os.environ user because usually get get user is more reliable. Uh, it doesn't depend on state that a user could just modify. Um, but for sake of discussion, let's say that we're using os.environ user for this. So we're gonna do username equals os.environ user. And again, I'll leave that caveat. Probably use get get user instead. <laughs> and we're going to print Hello, hello, username. And we'll just make a main function that uh, runs this. And if name equals main. So I'm trying this new thing where instead of doing exit main, I do raise system exit main, which does the same thing, but makes people complain at me less. <laughs> oh, and of course, since it returns it, we have to do return zero. So if we run this, python3 t.py, you'll see that it uses my username here. And if we were to change the username to someone else, you'll see that it will print that as well. This is a syntax in shells to set an environment variable and then call a command, um, in case you didn't know that. But anyway, here's our basic program. And I wanna write some tests for this. So we're going to do a test greet, and I'm gonna use capsis to capture the output. And if we call greet, um, we can do this. And right now, if I do assert out equals hello, hello, acetylene, this test pass is fine. Pip install pytest, and then pytest p.py. Oh, of course. <laughs> pass is fine if you put a new line at the end. You'll see it passes fine. But if anyone else were to run this test, because this test depends on particular environment state, this test would not pass. Um, for instance, if I ran this in talks, let's set up a talks real quick. Uh, I think this is what I want. Test m commands equals pytest t.py. How do we need to do depths equals pytest? I think that's all I need. Uh, talks dash e py39. So one thing that talks does is it blanks out the environment. So you can see here, we specifically get a key error on user and Tox does this to try and force you to write tests that are not environment dependent, uh, such that they would, you know, you would know earlier on that a test would pass or fail uh, based on accessing environment variables. But anyway, that's, that's an aside. So if someone else tried to run this test, they would not be acetylene and so this test would fail for them. So we wanna make this test independent of our environment. And the first solution that I'm gonna show you today is a PyTest plugin called PyTestEnv. And PyTestEnv is useful to statically set a global set of environment variables for all of your tests. It's not necessarily what you want, but sometimes it can be useful. Uh, for instance, if you have a particular constant that's passed as an environment variable, maybe you use environment variables for I don't know, credentials or something like that, um, and you want to put a placeholder credential globally, you could potentially use pytest n for that. Um, so I'm going to show you that example first. Uh, so we're going to do pip install pytest n. I occasionally use pytest n. The most common use case that I use for pytest n is setting um, environment variables for commit users. So I do git commits in some of my tests, and so I'll use pytest n for that. Uh, for instance, pre-commit uses that. Um, show you, well, I'll show you after we set this up. In order to work with pytest env, you're going to need a pytest.ini. 
This is where you configure your Pinetest options if you have them, um, but you can also configure plugins here using their particular INI setting. So uh, we're gonna set environment variables here, and I believe the syntax is, um, let's set it to nobody, for example. And now I should adjust my test because it's no longer going to be my username, but it's going to be the nobody username. And if we run pytest.py, you'll see that it passes. You'll note that it also passes in talks now, uh, despite the environment. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. It would pass in talks <laughs> if I put pytest.env here. You'll notice I got a warning here that I got an unknown key option. That's because I didn't properly specify that I depend on pytest.env. So it should pass in talks now as well. So we've you know, isolated our test from the environment by using a plugin. So that's the first solution, use pytest.env. Um, but pytest.env is not very flexible in all cases. You'll notice that I had to hard code this value here, and then I had to hard code the value here. And so these might get out of sync, or maybe this user environment variable isn't appropriate for all of your tests. And so this might not be a great solution for what you want to do. Um, so I'm going to show you the next solution, which is to change os.environ and only change it for the duration of the test. Now, there are two ways to do this. And one of them is built into PyTest. I don't like using the built-in one to PyTest personally uh, because it has kind of an undefined scope and like is slightly more magical than I'm comfortable with. Um, I tend to use the not built into PyTest one, but built into Python approach. And I'm gonna show you both of those. So let's show you the PyTest one first. Uh, the PyTest one uses a built-in fixture called the monkey patch fixture. And monkey patch has a setEnv uh, method that lets us set an environment variable temporarily. So if we want to set user to, let's say, nobody2, that way we know it's not coming from pytestenv. And this allows you to set an environment variable. Now note, this setEnv call will run for the rest of the test. And it'll actually run until the monkey patch fixture tears down, which is at some, well, it is at a deterministic time after the test ends, but it's a little wishy-washy and that makes me uncomfortable. So I don't, I don't really like that this has kind of a unknown <laughs> duration, but it does work. So if we run PyTest on this file note, you'll see that now we have changed it to nobody too, and this works. Now what I prefer to use is the, the unit test.mock module. And for that, we're gonna do from unit test import mock and mock has a bunch of different monkey patching functionalities context managers etc and we are going to use the dictionary patching one so instead of using monkey patch.setenv we're going to do with mock.patch.dict os.environ so mock.patch.dict takes an, uh, a dictionary that we're going to modify and the values we want to set in it so we're going to do user nobody3 uh, and during this context, during this with block, that environment variable will be set to that. And so you can see here, what I can do is very carefully set the scope of when this user uh, variable is set. So it is only set inside this block, and out here it is not set again. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. No, <laughs> I'm not re recording. Anyway. Um, <laughs> So if, uh, if I set nobody3 inside this context, we run this function, this is going to access the environment and see nobody3, and we should get nobody3 in our output. And this is the method that I use the most and the one that I prefer. Uh, and you'll see that that passes again. But anyway, that's three different ways that you can set the environment variables under your test, uh, one of them being pytestm, the other being the built-in monkey patch, patch fixture, which I guess now that we don't need it here, we can <laughs> remove it. Um, and the third being mock.patch.dict, which will allow you to modify the environment dictionary directly. I guess it's not technically a dictionary, but you can think about it as one. Uh, but anyway, hopefully this was useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.